The difference between a coin and a token is confusing to many people, not just beginners in the crypto space. In this video, you will know exactly the difference between a coin and a token. So, let's get started. For any cryptocurrency to work. There has to be a blockchain to store users' accounts, their balances, and to get the transactions verified. The main difference between coins and tokens is the blockchain they run on. Coins are cryptos that have their own blockchains, tokens on the other hand are cryptos that don't have their blockchains, but instead they run on other coins' blockchain. Examples of coins are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Solana, and Monero. Each one of these coins has its own blockchain that stores users' accounts and verify transactions. Examples of tokens are the Shiba Inu, Tether, USDC, Mana, and Link tokens. All of these tokens depend on another coin's blockchain to run, and they also get all the features of this blockchain, like the speed and security. The Shiba Inu, for example, is running on the Ethereum blockchain, which means that Shiba uses the Ethereum blockchain to store its users' accounts and verify its transactions, and the users will just have to pay the gas fees. You should know here that a token can be running on multiple blockchains. Tether, for example, is available on the Ethereum blockchain, the Solana blockchain, and on the Algorand blockchain. Each blockchain has different transactions processing speed and fees to pay when making transactions. For example, if you want to send some Tether tokens to your friend on the Ethereum blockchain, you will have to pay $20 or more in fees, on the Solana network on the other hand, the fee can be as low as $0.00001, and the transaction will be processed much faster. Let's now get to the difficulty of developing a coin compared to the difficulty of creating a token. Developing a coin and building its blockchain from scratch is expensive, hard to do, and requires a team to do it. Even after developing the coin and its blockchain, the team still have to maintain its security by constantly fixing bugs and vulnerabilities. A token on the other hand is just a smart contract running on another coin's blockchain, you only need to write this smart contract for the token to work. If you don't know what is a smart contract, it is just some lines of code that can execute transactions automatically without any human intervention, and in this case, it will execute the token user's transactions. This token smart contract doesn't require a full team to write it. One person can do it if he knows how to code. Even if you don't know how to code, you can still create a token. In fact, there are some websites that will create the token for you. You just need to set the name, the ticker, and the total supply of the token. Before we continue, here is a simple analogy to help you understand the difference between a coin and a token. Imagine that you want a new place to live in. You can build your house or you can rent an apartment, Building your house is expensive, takes a lot of time, and you are responsible for any maintenance like replacing any broken appliances or fixing a broken roof, but you have the flexibility to design it however you like. Renting an apartment on the other hand is much cheaper, and you don't have to worry about the maintenance at all, you just have to pay the rent. But you will live with other people in the same building, and you don't have the flexibility to choose anything in the design of the apartment. In this analogy, building a house from scratch is developing an entire blockchain, and renting the apartment is like creating a token on another blockchain and paying the gas fees. This blockchain is like the building, has many tokens hosted on it. If you got the idea and enjoying our video so far, give us a like as a new channel, it helps us tremendously. Let's continue. Another big difference between coins and tokens is that coins can be mined, while tokens cannot be mined. For example, Miners on the Ethereum network spend money to buy expensive hardware devices to verify transactions and help keep the Ethereum blockchain secure. So the blockchain is programmed to reward these miners by giving them newly issued Ethereum coins with each block they produce. You should know that not all coins can be mined, only coins that use the proof-of-work consensus mechanism. Examples of coins that can be mined are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Litecoin, and Monero. All tokens, on the other hand, cannot be mined. Let's take the Shiba Inu for example, Shiba is running on the Ethereum blockchain, which means that the miners on the Ethereum network are verifying the Shiba token transactions. So you can't mine the Shiba Inu or any other token, as tokens are not mined, they are issued by the developers creating the token. 
Let's now get to the differences in the uses of coins compared to the uses of tokens. Most crypto coins are used as a store of value or as a digital currency only. What are the uses of Ethereum for you for example, from a normal person's perspective? Well, most people buy Ethereum and hold it waiting for its price to increase, or you can use it as a digital currency to buy products and services, or you can use it to pay the gas fees on the Ethereum blockchain. For example, if you are sending your friend some Tether tokens on the Ethereum blockchain, you will need to have some Ethereum to pay the gas fees and complete the transaction, and you will need Ethereum to pay the gas fees for transactions with any other tokens on the Ethereum blockchain, not just Tether. Finally, coins are also used to reward miners or validators on the network, these people verify transactions and help secure the blockchain, other than that, there are no other uses of crypto coins tokens on the other hand have a lot of uses. First, tokens can be used as a digital currency to buy products and services just like coins. This type of tokens is called transactional tokens and most of the time these tokens have a price tied to the US dollar. Examples of these tokens are Tether, USDC, and DAI. All these tokens have a constant price of $1, which makes them better in day-to-day -day purchases as they have stable prices so they are commonly known as stablecoins. Although they are technically tokens and they don't have separate blockchains, they are known as stablecoins in the crypto space, so don't get confused with the name. We actually have a full detailed video that will help you understand them perfectly. Besides the use of tokens as a digital currency like coins, tokens also have a lot of other uses. Let's now go over some types of tokens and their uses. There are for example tokens that represent other assets like gold. Tether Gold, for example, is a token on the Ethereum blockchain that has a price tied to the price of gold. One Tether Gold token will always have the price of 1.1 ounce of fine gold. If the price of gold increases, the price of the token increases, and if the price of gold falls, the token price falls with it. You may be wondering what is the purpose of a token like this? Well, the purpose of a token like this is making investing in gold easier and safer, instead of buying real gold and storing it. You can buy this token and you will make the same profits when the price of gold increases. This type of tokens is called commodity tokens. Another type of tokens we have is the wrapped tokens. Wrapped tokens are tokens that represent a coin but on in another blockchain. Let's break this down so you can understand it. So, we can have a token that represents Ethereum but on the Solana blockchain for example. This token will have a price equals to the price of Ethereum at any time. But why would we create a token to represent a coin, we already have this coin available? Well, a very common reason to use wrapped Ethereum is the very high gas fees on the Ethereum blockchain, which may get as high as $30 for a simple transaction like sending some Ethereum. So many people go to a bridge, lock up their Ethereum on the Ethereum blockchain, and then the bridge will give them new wrapped Ethereum tokens on the Solana blockchain, where the fees can be less than a cent. At any time, you can go to the bridge again, give it the wrapped Ethereum tokens, and unlock your locked Ethereum coins on the Ethereum blockchain. Utility tokens are in another type of tokens we can create. These tokens are created to be used in a game or on an app or a platform. The Mana token, for example, is a token on the Ethereum blockchain that is used as the in-game currency of Decentraland. Holders of this token can use it to buy names, clothes, and customizations for their avatars in the game. Another example of utility tokens is the FTX token created by the FTX exchange team. This token is available on the Ethereum blockchain, the Binance Smart Chain, and on the Solana blockchain, and the holders of this token get discounts on the trading fees on the FTX platform. So, as you can see, you can do something different with each utility token, it depends on what the developers want their token to do. The final type of tokens we have is the governance tokens. These tokens give their holders the right to suggest or vote on changes to a platform or an application. The Uniswap token for example allows its holders to suggest or vote on any changes they want to make in the platform, for example, they may suggest launching Uniswap on new networks, like what they did with the Polygon network, or they may suggest raising the swap fees user pay on the platform. You should know that one token can be used in more than one way. For example, the Mana token is a utility token in Decentraland, but at the same time can be used to suggest or vote on changes to Decentraland. So one token can have a utility and be a governance token at the same time.
Also, you will hear the two words coins and tokens used interchangeably. Sometimes you will hear a coin get called a token, and that may make you confused and can't say if it is a coin or a token. But the easiest way to know is to see if this crypto has its own separate blockchain or not. If it has a separate blockchain, then it is a coin. But if it doesn't have a blockchain and running on other blockchains like Ethereum or the Binance Smart Chain, then you can be 100% sure that it is a token. At the end of this video, we hope that you now know the difference between coins and tokens and if you liked our video and want to reward our hard work. Give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our new videos. We promise they will be very simple and very easy. Thanks for watching.